Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada y schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accese suprememastertv.com barra schedule. So it's difficult for us to concentrate on this pure love alone, unconditional and pure. Otherwise, humans would never know sickness. We never know trouble, never know discontentment, ever. Animals are here, actually, to help us, to remind us of this pure love, but we're too busy. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in Chinese and English with subtitles in Arabic, Olexis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Nabersinis is how are you in Gagos. Warmest greetings, beautiful viewers. My name is Luminita. The compassionate people of Gagosia thank you for all your good deeds towards others. Gagosia is an autonomous republic of Eastern Europe within the small country of Moldova, located next to Ukraine. Comrade, the capital city, is small with a population of only 24,000. But it is easy to walk around with parks, statues and beautiful churches to visit not to mention the open-air markets that are unique to this part of Europe, most notably the Comrade Bazaar. Some other sites to see are the Cathedral of St. John, built in 1820, located in the center of Comrade. There's also the Women's Monastery, as well as museums of local history, handicrafts, and local artists. The economy of Gagosia is based primarily on agriculture, particularly viticulture, the cultivation of grape vines. One of Gagosia's best features is its hospitality. You can easily find a friendly farmer who will invite you to his home and then feast on local produce in the serenity of the area. The peace-loving Gagosian people are very amiable, hospitable and noble and work from dawn to dusk and love to celebrate when there's a holiday. We are elated to introduce Soulful Gagosia to you, dear viewers. We pray that you are always in God's loving embrace. For over three decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world 
with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within and to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped world honored one, Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God, Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the first Sikh Guru, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. She is an extraordinary living example of compassion, regularly sending material and financial assistance as well as love to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for His compassion and love toward His precious children. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, and individuals, as well as many awards from them, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd, and October 25th were proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Qinghai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Qinghai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Qinghai promotes the peaceful and loving plant-based diet and envisions. With humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in blissful harmony. Her initiatives to spread the vegan trend are diverse and have included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants, Loving Hut, vegan food product companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as regularly speaking to influential government and media leaders and participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Over the years, Supreme Master Qinghai has traveled worldwide, from the Americas to Africa, from Europe to Oceania, and held hundreds of discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled Control One's Desires and Choose the Safest Method of Enlightenment, Part 4 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples, given in Chinese and English on October 6, 2019, in New Land Ashram, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. The following episode contains content not suitable for children under 18. Parental discretion is advised. When you have pets, they, uh, they can bless you, make you feel better when you're sad. And when you're sick, they heal you quicker. You heal quicker. Uh, even big sickness becomes smaller or avoidable altogether. That's well known. Many doctors know that. Many people know that. And when you love that pet because of the concentration of love between you and you take care of the dogs, for example, or the cats or the birds, and you concentrate all on love then, so you're more oblivious to whatever the turbulence outside on the planet or other people. That's why you avoid many sickness. Is that logical to you? Because the, the goddess of love told me one time, remember I told you, she said that love has the component to cure all ills, the component. But because we don't always have this kind of love, the unconditional love, the pure love, that's why we have a lot of trouble, okay? We think we love a wife, a husband, but it's not enough. Even parents love children, sometimes not enough. If you really have true, pure love, you will hardly get any sickness or any trouble. But not because we don't want to love, but we are distracted. <laughs> we are poor in, poor out, push, torn, because of the situation of this life. Sometimes you just want to concentrate to uh, care as your dog and love him, and then something else come. Uh, the phone rang, and or the neighbor come, or sister call, or mother, or, or friends, or any other 
destruction, yeah? Or your trouble, your tax man coming, your car broke down, whatever. It's just distraction all the time. So it's difficult for us to concentrate on this pure love alone, unconditional and pure. Otherwise, humans would never know sickness. We never know trouble, never know discontentment, ever. Animals are here, actually, to help us, to remind us of this pure love. But we're too busy. Even if we have pets, we don't always pay attention to them. I also not. I have work to do. But I love to hug them and talk to them. And because that time feels so good, so peaceful. But then I have to tear myself apart because work's calling. Physical work and inside work as well. So everyone, we are really cheated on this planet of all kind of uh, equipment, all kind of instrument to give us true happiness, peace, contentment, because we have to work. This will make us work. If we don't work, we can't live. That's why we are deprived of so many source, so many ways to find love, to find peace, to find happiness. We just too much concentrate outside. Some more, some less, of course. That's why animals are really our friends. At that time when you concentrate on love, even love your partner, your children, when it's pure, unconditional, then you are immune to all kind of karmic effect surrounding you. And also you will be disconnected <laughs> with all the trouble of the world and of your own trouble also. You're disconnected at that time because you concentrate on love. That is why having pets or having someone you love dearly helps you a lot. Okay? Pets are easier to love than humans. No matter whom you love, humans are more complicated in nature, have dual nature. Dog, cat, pet, they have only one nature. That is love, uncomplicated, unconditional. Therefore, having pets helps a lot of people to avoid sickness or to minimize sickness or to heal sickness easily. That is the thing I have written about dogs, about pets. Even some comet effect coming towards you, you're too concentrated on, on love. It also cannot reach you, cannot touch you, because it's all from the power of undiluted attention, undivided attention and love combined. In India, they call that uh, bhakti yoga, if you will, devotion, devotion to something, to the master, to God, or even devoted to your wife, your husband, but has to be truly devoted. It's more difficult to devote your love to humans than to pet. Because even if you want to devote your love to human, they have their own up and down, yeah? They have their own mood, their own complication of nature. Very difficult to always uh, follow them, follow their mood. But pet is easier to love, because they just love you all the time, 24-7. They are never tired. Midday when you want to come and love them, midnight, or Anytime, weekend, holiday, you can love them. They always welcome and love you back. They love you even before you show your affection anyway. So it's very easy to love them. They don't play game. They love you, just pure. Human, you have to sometimes accompany them, their mood, their personality, their likes and dislikes and all that. It's more complicated. <laughs> You still want story or you have any question concerning anything? Concerning what I just told you? If you have sex and you have an orgasm, you lose five weeks? No, you don't lose five weeks. You need five weeks to recover what you have lost. The spiritual power. So what if you don't have an orgasm? Does it still take that long? Then it's better. H how much better? Then it's as if you don't do it. Oh. That's why I taught you a few weeks ago, control the, the end. Thank you. You can still do it to satisfy your mind, with your, satisfy your partner, but you don't have to go to the end. 
You don't have to uh, climax, that's what I say, right? Then as if you don't do anything, even beneficial to you, because you brought up all this concentration power, up, not down. When you uh, finish, it's all coming out, also physical body, wellness also coming out. That's why you feel maybe empty afterwards, tired, and sleep. <laughs> It's very well known that men sleep immediately, <laughs> and women feel very frustrated. <laughs> yeah. The reason the women feel frustrated because they are more sentimental. They don't concentrate only on this act, but concentrate more on love. But men, they cannot help it. They're just so exhausted afterward, empty. Empty here, empty everywhere. And woman, if she also comes to the end and she also feel exhausted, like that. But if both do not finish, then the love will grow even more, the peace will be even more, and it affects also a peaceful environment. That is a tantric method for using that for people who cannot avoid the couple's actions but still retain the spiritual height and not lose anything, then you don't need any five weeks at all. Even you can see the light during or after. You can feel the earth moving during or after. And you feel very peaceful. I mean, maybe immediately after that, you still feel like you're not done, but then just a, a few seconds, and then you feel very peaceful, very contented and very beneficial to health and mental and spiritual as well. Many women, they don't have this sexual satisfaction as men. Men is easier, okay? No matter what, they will satisfy themselves. Women, not that easy. I have suspected that maybe that's why so many women come here, because they're happier. They're more contented. They're not so exhausted and not so blurred and trapped like men. You see so many women compared to men. Maybe because of the dissatisfaction in a couple's life physically. But that little dissatisfaction gives them more boost to grow love. Love toward their husband, love toward others. Just the love will grow more with that, not like diminished with the finishing line. When you reach the finishing line but you don't cross, then you have more than if you cross. If you feel completely done with the sexual act, you don't feel as good as, as if you control it. When you hit the, the height of that sexual desire, you stop. You don't waste your energy and your physical fluid and all kind of things that go with it. So that will help you even more. You won't lose anything. That's why they practice so-called tantric. Tantric is like that, for the couple to control their own uh, sexual peak. They don't lose the physical and mental and spiritual power. If you finish, you lose, then you must wait five weeks in order to replenish, recover what you lost, the dilution of your power, spiritual, mental, physical, emotional, psychological, psychic. That's why humans keep losing, losing, losing uh, telepathy power, psychic power, emotional power, love power, get less and less because too much indulgence. And nowadays, even worse because they advertise for it. It's all in the open now. Children even have to be exposed to all this in the wrong way. Hmm? So if you woman wives feel your husband is lousy, <laughs> too fast, too quick, be happy, okay? He's the one who lost, not you. <laughs> He's the one who lose. You, more powerful, okay? More strong, more loving. Maybe that's why God entrusted 
women with motherhood, the sacred duty of motherhood. Okay? Don't feel sad. If in bed you're not very satisfied or happy, don't be sad. Be happy. Okay? Be happy. Feel lucky that you don't waste too much of your powers, whatever kind. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why you're wiser. You come more to group meditation, you come more to see me, you meditate more, you do more things that is beneficial to others because you're happy, because you're full of power inside that not wasted, and then you use it for many things, even for cooking, cleaning the house, you do a lot of things, and you're not as quickly exhausted as a man. So if you think your husband is lousy in bed, thank him. Thank you for being so lousy, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask him too much anymore. He's already losing too much. Any more questions? Uh, Sir, I want to ask you, what you just said about pets, is that they will be our guests? Yes. 是会有一些果然他能承担多少他就帮你承担其实有时候替你而死的他们不在意因为他们也知道死不是晚了啊死就会再来我们自己人类不会了解这个因为我们太复杂了啊我们生的复杂不是自己错就是生出来就是有很多复杂的器官因为很多复杂所以我们才比较聪明才能够发明这个那个做这个那个比动物比较能干不过他们的灵性比我们高他们随时比较跟高级的力量比较沟通他们有灵性
But whenever we're together, you know, when I remember, when I'm not too busy working, I always thank them. I say, thank you for your love, for your trust, for your protection. And they're so happy, happy <laughs> when I say that. They look at me and kiss me. <laughs> they know the difference, yes. They know that very well. All they want is that you love them and appreciate their presence and their love. That's all they want. Whether or not you give them a lot of food or good food or bad food, they don't mind, they don't care. Yes. I am very grateful to heavens. They're sending me my dogs, even though I did not want them to come down. I could tell them, don't come back again. <laughs> and they're sneaking in. Somehow we meet. That's the problem. Mm. But they are not normal dogs, you know. Most animals, if you love them, care for them, they will use their power, their inherent power to protect you. They go to the end of the world to protect you. They die for you if they can. So love your pets, okay? Adorable viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled Control One's Desires and Choose the Safest Method of Enlightenment, Part 4 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Thoughts on Taoism by the Rev. Thomas Merton, Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May heaven grant you blessings and love as deep as the ocean. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.